going on, everybody? My name is Zelprint, and welcome back to yet another reaction video. Now, today I got another video from you guys from the Percy and the Beast Productions. Now, I reacted to a, another one of his videos, I think it was two months ago, back in February, when we reacted to another one of the SCP file videos. But unlike that, today we're going to be reacting to a Sodor Dark Realm video. And the reason why I've never reacted to one up until now is because I've or before I started reacting to Times of Train content, I was always just watching it on my uh, off time. But now that I'm reacting to Times of Train content, I'm going to be adding the sort of dark realms to my category of Times of Train videos. So with that being said, I don't have much really to say in this intro because this video came out the day before I record this. And we're going to go ahead and react to this bad boy in three. Two, one, go. I might be turning my light on, actually. Actually, you know what? Let me turn the light on. One sec. Getting better. Just it doesn't seem like there's enough light. It is very cloudy out today. All right, let's go. Hello, Emperor. <laughs> Alright, well, we got Thomas as well. It's been a while since I've watched the Dark Realm video, so I don't remember everyone. Ellsbridge Blitz? What? Hi, Percy. Also as her top of hat? Wait, hold on. Okay. Interesting. <laughs> Interesting intro. Definitely very different. Lovely Le Lisa as fate. As random card. The top of hat legacy. Oh, he just turned into an evil smile. The C curse of righteousness. You have heard of me. You all have read my legendary tales. But what if I told you I believe in the possibility of the multiverse? And in this multiverse, there must be another Emperor Topmat somewhere. I also wonder if he has been as successful with destroying the rebels as I have. I have managed to almost completely wipe out the rebellion. But there remains some of them left. They hide. Okay, so this ties in with the SCP series because everything is connected. In my empire, like rat. If you didn't watch the lit, the last SCP files video, I recommend you go watch that for context. And I shall hunt them all down and exterminate them. For my name is Emperor Stephen Topham Hat. And Shodor is my empire. I sit here in my office with this curse that's driving me mad. I don't know what to do anymore. I'm running out of engines to kill. It's the rebel's pain makes me relax. Oh, where do I begin? Ah, yes. I remember now. It all started with that crummy assassination attempt on my life. The rebels really think they can stop the Emperor of Sodor? <laughs> well, they're in for a rude awakening. My shoulders show the rebels coming from a mile away and made quick work. They also discovered that they were trying to get close enough to shoot me. We managed to capture two rebel engines trying to escape, and my guards locked them up, preparing them for execution. Just before televising the rebel executions, however, I have decided to let my most trusted guards conduct questioning, just to try and squeeze out every bit of information we could use against the rest. While this was happening, I decided to go to the pub and have a drink or two. It's really, <laughs> it's really weird to see an emperor sitting in a bar. I feel like that would be for a comedy sketch movie. It really is tiring to run such a large and splendid empire. One does have to keep appearances, so 
I see that Gordon reference. Suddenly, a lovely woman dressed in almost all crimson with a trench coat sat next to me at the bar. This woman seemed to have an unopened bottle of wine. Is that Wanda from from Marvel? Is that the outfit? <laughs> and she seemed to catch my eye. The woman kindly smiled to me and said, Hello, Stephen. I see you're not so well. Mind telling me what the matter is? How do you know my name? Who are you? That is none of your concern. What I want to know is how I could possibly help you out. I couldn't hold it all in. Stress is coming to me. My assistant wouldn't be here, so I suppose a random stranger offering me help is better than nothing. Well, it's uh, just a lot. Rolling over an empire, having enemies, knowing people are out to kill you, all that. It's not something that normally concerns me that much, but it seems to have recently gotten hold of my mentality, if that makes any sense. I understand, sir. Do you wish you had someone who could possibly help you out? Someone who can rule by your side? Someone just like you? I pondered this. I feel perhaps I could promote my assistant. He understands me and my ways toward everyone better than anyone else. It then gripped me. But I don't want him taking all power away from me. Would he even try doing that? The woman looked into my eyes and said calmly, I think I know a guy. Who? <laughs> More on him later, though. Reason why I came over here was to promote a new wine. I have made myself. I thought about many names, but I think Malouge would suit it well. I looked at the wine. It was a rather fine shade of red, like a trench coat. It just seemed to draw me in. Not just the color, but something I just couldn't put my finger on. How much want to bet it's poison in that bottle? This is an assassination attempt. Well, I got nothing to lose, I suppose. She poured me a glass. And it was so smooth flowing in. It seemed almost as if it were some kind of magic. I slowly put the cup up to my lips and took a sip. I immediately felt powerful. It seemed to lift me up. That was fantastic. That was all I knew it. Day. Before I got an overwhelming sense of dizziness, blacked out on the floor. I awoke several hours later in my comfy chair and noticed she was nowhere to be found. The guards must have found me. This is when a man who looked like me but wore a suit of black appeared. Oh. This man spoke of giving food and money freely to people and peace with the rebels. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you are a crazy man. There's no way in hell I'm giving anything to anyone. And worst of all, the only way I will make peace with the rebels if is when they are all dead. You are the crazy one. You are the monster. Can't you see the monstrous crimes you've committed? This man was starting to get on my nerves, and I didn't like it one bit. I am no monster, but voice of reason on this sad little island. And you, sir, have tried my patience. Leave now, or better yet. Guards! My guards and my assistants ran into the room immediately. Arrest this imposter! Everyone looked at me confused, and my assistant said, Who is there? There's nobody here. I picked up a blunt object. This crazy imposter! And, and I threw oh, it Oh, wait him. a second. What happened next was impossible. But it happens anyway. The rock went through him like he wasn't there. My assistant spoke, stuttering on his words. Sir, are you alright? Get back to work or I'll have all your heads! Uh, y y yes sir! You, you heard the Emperor? Right away, sir! They left at once. 
The imposter stood there, staring at me. Is it literally just an illusion of himself? <laughs> Laughing and smiling at me as he said, You see, Emperor? You can't possibly get rid of me because I am all in your head and I am not going anywhere. I picked up my baseball bat and attempted to smash him over the head with it, but it was like I was swinging at nothing at all. I pulled out my shotgun and I fired at him, but only to put a hole in my wall. You, you monster, get out of my head! <laughs> Chop him. How are you going to try and kill me now? <laughs> I ignored him and decided to leave my office. I figured I was going to try to tune him out and by no better way than killing those students that we captured. As I walked down to the platform, well, what happened he spoke to me. Why do you want to kill innocent engine? They only want to live peacefully and do their share of work. I shrugged him off uh, and walked past the platform. Get this man an eye patch. <laughs> I looked over to see the two rebel engines. My guards had put them on block so they can't escape. My shoulders were everywhere. Just as I was about to speak, it spoke again. Chop them. Don't do this. Spare their lives by putting them in prison. Be the better man. Fucker. I shrugged to him off and thought to myself, I am the best man in this universe. Uh, then I realized how I wanted Oh, wait, hold on. I just noticed something. If you look over at his nameplate, it says Royal Forest the Engines. <laughs> just wanted to point that out in case nobody else notices. Get those rebels to die. I looked up with a smile. Boys, aim your guns. Henry, I hereby sentence you to death by firing squad for your crimes against the Empire. Any last words? They looked at me with horror in their faces. You cannot stop the rebellion. They will bring you to justice for your crimes. Long live the rebellion! <laughs> Engine shot there, lifeless and as dead as bloody pieces of scrap metal. I felt great, I felt amazing, I felt like a god. And it all came crashing down as I heard the voice again. Chubb, you are an absolute phony, a monster, and a vile creature. Why won't you just die? Hush, Topham. I am you. There is no escaping yourself. I am your voice of reason. You mean the voice of treason? I'll take a hard pass. You don't get it, do you, Topham? You are going to change your face. And you will be a decent person, or I will destroy you! He looked at me intentionally as if he was staring into my soul. I knew it was serious. I knew I had to find a way to destroy this man before he could destroy me. Sir, here's the report you asked for regarding the project. Project E2, what is that? Okay, I guess we're gonna have to wait until next time. Okay, there's nothing else. <laughs> okay, that took an interesting turn. I honestly didn't know what I was expecting when I walked into this video. <laughs> but it seems like we're getting closer and closer to the multiverse of madness. I mean, not in multiverse. Of I think it was Toby in the multiverse of madness. I forgot the name of, the of that video. <laughs> but it seems like everything is now seeming to tie in. So he it seems like he's doing specific videos to line up everything for the next episode of to to Toby in the Multiverse of Madness. At least that's what it seems like to me, because the Multiverse of Madness video wasn't uh, completed from what I read in the community tab.
but it, was, it seems like it's being put off into different sections. It has to be compiled together by putting other videos together first, because we are going to get to the multiverse in its insanity very soon. Just a matter of when that guy's in next door again doing construction. Um, but, um, but with that being said, guys, hopefully you enjoyed today's reaction video, and I will be look, keeping a close lookout for the next video when it comes out, because I saw the community tab post on it, and I am excited for the next for the list of videos that are coming out. Bye!